A few comments on the upcoming debate between J.D. Vance and Tim Walls. Looking at the planet positions at that date and time, we see it is near the upcoming new moon, which is also a solar eclipse in Libra. But what seems most important is that the eclipse happens in degrees which are not particularly important for either J.D. or Walls, but certainly are for the degenerate ex-president because 10 degrees Libra means his vulnerable T-square, the infamous Access Hollywood T-square, is getting triggered, and he does not like those degrees. The debate happens with the moon in very early Libra, but the eclipse happens about 18 hours later, deep into the next day, thereby giving enough time for the media to assess what the debate was like. Translation. Whatever happens in the debate, will likely rebound to the detriment of the repugnant president wannabe at the top of the ticket. Notice that this eclipse in Libra features a close proximity to Mercury, which fits nicely with a back-and-forth exchange, but more significant is that the black moon, right in the thick of it, in the same degrees as well, is also there. The black moon represents all that is shameful, dark, ominous, scary. So I'm guessing that this fits so well with what J.D. and Trump have been up to of late, namely creating a hoax story about Haitian immigrants supposedly eating people's pets in Springfield, Ohio, even though the woman who started the rumor, predictably a MAGA supporter, but even so, she felt bad enough to apologize and retract her false story. However, this leaseback ex-president continues to speak of it as though it is true, and his equally disgusting running mate parrots along with him. And, in the debate context, this subject is almost certain to come up, and you can count on walls with transiting Mars in a developing square to his son, and Mars being the planet of combat, and remembering that after all, Walls is an Aries, which means as Mars ruled well, you can expect him to lean in and attack JD mercilessly, and then when JD replies that this needs to be said because Kamala and Biden and the border and blah blah blah, Walls is going to say, yeah, sure, the border that you guys had a chance to address, but instead denied passage of the bill to address the problem. A bill that was initiated by one of your conservative members and would have been a historic bipartisan achievement. In other words, you two clowns are more interested in talking about things than in actually doing something about them. I'm sure JD will push back reasonably well because even though he is completely lacking in charisma, he does have access to more words and also more coherent sentences and paragraphs than the now increasingly demented Orange Menace. So JD will likely defend himself reasonably well in the moment, but in the final analysis, the whole thing is likely to result in an increased negative perception of their campaign by more and more of the voters that are going to decide their fate in November. Another subject that is certain to come up is the question of women's rights, because that also fits very tightly into Black Moon territory, remembering that the moon is a female symbol after all, and that the whole thing around women's rights is being dealt with by the GOP, Trump and Vance, in an extremely shameful way, so have no fear, Tim is going to make that point likewise extremely clear. The day after the debate and the day after that, look for Walls to continue to pound on these topics as Mars directly squares his son, and as for the rest of the week, look for JD to also sound really irritated and combative as Mars moves in to square his moon. Bottom line, in summary, I think we can look forward to a spirited and entertaining debate, which will turn out to be another step in the right direction for the Harris Walls ticket by exposing the hypocrisy and the malevolence of the Trump Vance ticket. And the key astrological reason for this hinges upon the solar eclipse connected to the black moon and rebounding very negatively for the orange cockroach in his fruitless attempt to retake the White House. Of course, Needless to say, you can also look for the orange abomination to increase his negative rhetoric even more after this debate, and really the whole month of October, because he is, after all, a very limited one-trick pony whose only approach is to project the darkness in his own soul outward, trying to convince everyone that the filth within himself is afflicting all of America, and his weird running mate is happy to likewise continue in the same vein. 
But all of this will be to no avail because come November 5th, the majority of voters are going to turn them down and very deservedly relegate them to the shameful dustbin of history.